I saw him every Sunday at the market. Our eyes met at the vegan salad bar. I skirted up beside him on the checkout line. I flirted while I walked him to his car. I sensed we had a mutual attraction. I tingled from my scrunchie to my toes. He offered me a ride. I'd love one, I replied. Then I saw his bumper sticker and I froze. Oh, what a blow. There are sexy right-wing vegans, I suppose. He drove me home and made good conversation. He didn't bring up politics at all. He gave a timid grin before we parted ways and bravely asked if maybe he could call. I'm proud of being fair and open-minded. I vowed I'd meet his overture with grace. I smiled and said, you may. I watched him drive away. Then that bumper sticker slapped me in the face. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't let him get to second base. No, I couldn't let the flame of passion flicker till he and I discussed that frickin' bumper sticker. Imagine my surprise on Thursday evening. He showed up in a car I hadn't seen. It couldn't be disputed that it suited him, a Prius and a muted shade of green. Behold, no bumper sticker to confound me. I told him it had hit me like a brick. He blushed and said, he gets. That Mustang was his dad's. He loved his dad, but dad could be a pretty tough guy to get along with. Oh, how sweet life is. The offensive bumper sticker wasn't his. We had a lovely evening at an art show. Our goodnight kiss was magical and strong. I invited him inside to meet my basset hound. He confided he and dogs don't get along. So that's how it ends. If he doesn't love my dog, we'll just be friends. <laughs>